Hello everyone, it's so wonderful to see you. I am Miss Kendra at Learn and Play Montessori School and it's nice to meet you. I haven't seen you before. Thanks for coming. How are you doing today? Pretty good? Well, that's really good news. If not, we can do some things today and feel really good about that. That sounds really great. Some things that I want to mention I want to see you guys again and again and again. And if you want to see your teachers again and for some other fun videos, you can find us and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Learn and Play Montessori School, all right? We're going to see you there also. That's wonderful. And we're going to take a look at a lot of worksheets today. Those worksheets, mom and dad, can be found under the parent portal at learnandplaymontessori.com. So if you're looking for those, that's where to find them. And also coming up for our remote learning program is a lot of new exciting things and activities. We're gonna have a lot of cool art and maybe some special guests. We can look forward to some yoga. It's gonna be really exciting. So I'm really happy that you're here. And let's take a look at the calendar. So we know that yesterday was Wednesday. That means today is Thursday. Today is Thursday, which means tomorrow is Friday. Yeah, tomorrow is Friday. And what month are we in, my friends? July, we're still in July. So today is Thursday, July 23rd, 2000 and 20. That's right. Okay, it is a beautiful day outside. Did you guys look outside already? It is sunny and it's going to be nice and warm. Hopefully we get time to go outside and play today. That sounds good. So first thing, let's take a look at our language worksheets. I want to mention, mom and dad, if these language worksheets or math worksheets or any of these worksheets feel a little bit too challenging, then we can always take a look at the next age group down and you can really mix and match these things. They don't, we don't have to do all the language from here and, and only the math from here. We can do some things here and some things there. And you can find Miss Kendra again on YouTube and we can do some more things like that. Let's take a look at our first language worksheet. It's gonna look like this. If I'm going a little bit fast for you, we can always slow down and you can push pause on Miss Kendra and then you can press start when you're ready. All right, so first we're gonna look at this language worksheet. We're gonna read what's up at the top. Okay, so let's start here. Spice smells nice and tastes good too but too much spice can spoil the stew. Okay, so the directions here, say the name of the first picture in the row. Circle all the pictures in the row whose name begin with the same blend. So looking at number one, we see a swing, right? A swing. So we're looking for other words in this row that start with that same blend. We can see here, what is that blend we're looking for? S, W, sw, sw, swing. Let's look at here. Squirrel, squirrel. Now, when you say squirrel, do you hear the S and the W? Sk, sk, squir, sk, squirrel. I don't hear that. I hear a sk, a k sound there. What about the next picture? Of uh, this person who's swim, swim, sw. Swing, sw, swim. 
Oh, swim. That starts with SW. Letter blend. Let's circle swim. Yeah. The next one is a square. S square. Does that have SW? Squ sk no, I don't hear the W right there. S sw swear. It would have to be swear. That's not right. Now here's a sweater. Do you hear SW sound there? Sweater. Sw swing. Sw sweater. Yeah, let's circle sweater. SW sound. Let's do one more on this page and then we're going to flip it over and take a look at the other side. Number two has a spill, a spill, that's SP, do you hear that, sp, sp, can you make that sound with me, SP, sp, spill, sp, okay, let's look at some of these pictures and circle the ones that start with the same blend, SP, here is a stove, a stove. I don't hear a P there. St. I hear ST. St. Stove. And here, what about this one? A spoon. A spoon. Sp. Does that start with an SP blend? Sp. Spoon. Yeah, it does. Let's circle spoon. And the next picture is a spider. 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 Does that start with SP letter blend? Sp. Sp. Yeah. Spider. That's right. And the next one is a street. A street. Is that a SP? S speet? Speet. That's not a word. No, that's not, we're not going to circle that. That doesn't start with SP. So continue the rest of these a little bit later. Let's see on the other side. It says, say the name of each picture. Circle its name. Okay, number one, what are we looking at there? A sled. A sled. Let's read these words here. Sled or slide. What do we see? Yeah, a sled. So let's circle sled. Right, sled and slide start with the same blend, but the end of the word is much different. All right, number two, what are we looking at? That's a picture of some, some stairs or steps, right? Let's read these words. Stops, steps. What? Are, which word are we gonna circle? Are that, is that stops or are those steps? Yeah, those are steps. Let's circle the second word. And these words are really, really close. The only thing different is the vowel. So it must be really important to get the right vowel or else we're going to see totally different words. Number three is a spill. So let's read these words. Spill, spade. That's not a spade. It's a spill. Let's circle spill. Okay. And... Continue this later. Don't forget to use your sounds really close. Make sure you sound out slowly. All right? That sounds good. Let's take a look at our next worksheet here. Up top, our directions say, say the name of each picture. Print its beginning blend on the line and trace the whole word. So we see number one is a skate. They wrote skate. We can trace skate. S K 
A T E skate. And here, you recognize that? Yeah, that's a sled. Exactly right. So what is the beginning blend for sled? Sled. Sled. Right, S, and then what? Sled. L, yeah. You can hear that when you say it. S, let's trace. L, E, D. Now when you're holding your pencil, are we holding it like this? Oh goodness, no. Our fingers will not be happy like that. Let's hold it with our three fingers. Pinch and support. Okay, let's look at number three and then we'll flip to the other side. What is he doing with that brush? Scrubbing, right? He's scrubbing. In the word scrub, what is that beginning blend? What letters are there? Scrub. S, s starts, yeah, an S is first, yes. And then what's next? C? Yeah, C. And then scrub. We're looking for one more letter. R, yeah, R, scrub. Made a little tight there. Let's trace scrub. S, C, R, U, B, scrub. Really great. I think we can finish the rest of these at home. If you need help, what are we gonna do? We're gonna ask for help, that's not a problem. Okay, let's look at the next side. If Miss Kendra is going way too fast, pause Miss Kendra, finish your work. Press play on Miss Kendra. Awesome. Say the name of the picture. Circle the word that will finish the sentence. Print it on the line. So let's look at the first one. What do we see here? Yeah, a stop sign. Okay, so let's read this sentence here. Be sure to stop and read each rule. So we're looking for the word stop here. Let's read these. Spill, stop and star. What are we looking for? Stop, right? So let's circle that one. Circle stop and let's print it on the line. S T O P. Stop. Be sure to stop and read each rule. That's really important, right? That's just like reading the directions, reading the rules. We need to know what to do. All right, let's do one more on this page and then we're gonna look at our reader. Number two, this is a what? A slide, right? Take turns on the slide. Let's read these words over here. Slide, sling, Slip. Okay, let's circle. Slide. That's right, we're looking for a slide. Let's write slide on the line. S L I D E slide. Okay, great job, you guys. Thanks for doing that with me. Let's finish the rest of these later. And I'm going to take out my reader. And I always bring an extra piece of paper with me to cover the answers. If we don't have that extra piece of paper, we can use a different worksheet to cover these answers. Okay? Cover, cover, cover. <laughs> okay. All right, let's start with this first one up top. Let's read these together nice and slow with Miss Kendra, please. Miss Pat is at 
tabs, hat, or mat? What do we see over here? Do you see a hat or a mat? A mat, right? Okay, great. Let's circle mat. Okay, and the next sentence, you ready for this one? Good. That is a rat on the mat. So we're missing two letters here. What letters are we missing? Mat. At. Good. An A. Fantastic. And the letter T. That's right. Mat. Okay, now let's do the next one. That mat is nips or tabs. What do we read up here? Miss Pat is at tabs mat. Oh, it must belong to tab. Let's circle tabs. There we go. Okay, let's finish these three at home. Let's do the first one on the next page, and then we're gonna take a look at some penmanship. All right? <clears throat> Did Miss Pat sing? Yes or no? What does it look like there? Is she singing? Yes, okay, so we're gonna circle yes. Yes, Miss Pat sang. Pat, we're missing two letters here. What letters are we missing? Yes, you guys are doing wonderful. An A, Pat, and what's the last letter? T, we got it, okay. We can finish these rest of home and let's take out our penmanship. I appreciate you guys going so quickly with me. And we're looking at three different letters today and one word. So the letters we're looking at today are B, A, and T. And the word we're going to be writing today is bat. Bat. Like a baseball bat or like a black bat that hangs upside down. Okay, so let's do our big B first and then our little B. All right, our big B starts at the halfway line and goes up to the top, all the way down. Now we can come back up and make our B around, around, and it comes back out to the next letter. We're doing cursive here, so these letters are all going to come out to the next one. All right, little b starts at the bottom, goes up all the way to the top, back down, and then it's going to loop up to the halfway line and out to the next letter. And we have some more b's to practice on here. I'm going to try a b without the tracing. A big b first, around, around, and this one goes out to the next letter. And our little b starts at the bottom, goes all the way up, back down, up to the halfway, and out to the next letter there. Good job. Let's do our big A and our little a. Our big A starts at the top, goes around, back up, and out to the next letter. And our little a, that's going to start at the bottom line. It's going to go up around, down, and out to the next letter. Okay, let's try our big A over here. Beautiful. And our little a, out to the next letter. Our T, gonna, big T is going to start at the top, come back and hook, and we'll cross the T. And we remember our little T from yesterday also. Starts at the bottom, goes all the way up, back down, out to the next letter. We come back later and across it. All right, let's try our big T over here. Start at the top, come back down, and make a hook, and then cross that T. And our little T starts at the bottom, goes all the way up, 
back down out to the next letter, come back and cross your T. Super. When I see here, I see B A T. B A T. Bat. So let's trace our word bat. Let's go nice and slow. This is our whole word. We're going to be connecting these letters. Okay, from the bottom all the way up, back down, halfway line, and now we're taking it out to the A. So it doesn't go all the way back down to the bottom line this time. Our A starts there. And then out to the T, up, down, and out, and come back and cross your T. Okay, let's trace one more bat, and then we'll try it by itself. All the way up to the halfway line, and then we're going to start the A. And up for T, and cross your T. Okay, let's try a bat over here. Little B, ready to go to A, on to T, and across. Okay, this takes lots of practice. All right, so keep going. Don't forget we also have book reports and extra lined paper for practicing more things. Okay, let's stand up. Let's sing a song, get our bodies moving a little bit, and take a look at some math. So, we talked a lot about our bodies this month, and yesterday we talked about our hearts, right? And our hearts, when we exercise, start beating really fast so our bodies can get all the oxygen it needs. So let's feel your heart now. Is it beating fast? Just a little bit? Nice and slow, you're feeling calm? Yeah? Okay, let's sing our song, do some jumping, and running in place, and then we'll see if our heart is beating faster again. Okay? Sounds good. Okay, everyone stand up with me. Are you standing up already? Okay, let's wait for our friends. They're gonna stand up with us. Okay, we're ready. So we're gonna sing our carpenter song again, and our carpenter helps the construction workers, right? Building those houses. So our carpenter is going to saw the wood. We're going to do this move here, sawing the wood. And this one to nailing the nails. And painting the house. You ready to do that with me? Awesome. Okay. One, two, three. This is the way he saws the wood, saws the wood, saws the wood. This is the way he saws the wood, sawing, sawing, sawing. This is the way he nails the nails, nails the nails, nails the nails. This is the way he nails the nails, nailing, nailing, nailing. And this is the way he paints the house, paints the house, paints the house. This is the way he paints the house, painting, painting, painting. <sighs> is your heart beating faster already? A little bit? Good, let's see if uh, 10 jumps and running in place for 10 seconds will make it beat even faster. You ready? 10 jumps, go. One, two, three, big ones. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, and running. One, two, three, four, really fast, five, six, Seven, keep going. Eight, nine, ten. <sighs> Do you, you want to take a big breath? <sighs> we take big breath to get more oxygen, right? And my heart is beating faster. Is your heart beating faster too? <sighs> yeah. Our heart is beating faster when we exercise to get our blood pumping and oxygen everywhere, right? That's right. So next we're gonna take a look at some math worksheets. If this math looks really tough, that's okay, it is pretty tough. But we're also gonna be reviewing some things today, okay? So this is one of those times, mom and dad, where maybe some worksheets are gonna be right and some are gonna be a little too much or not enough, okay? Let's take a look. Come on over. Grab my pencil. 
Today, the first thing we're looking at is some division. And then after, we're gonna start doing some review. So I brought some new materials today to show us some dividing. So today, we're gonna be dividing by four. So we're looking to separate these into fours. All right, so the first question is how many fours are in four? So they took this number and separated it. Let's take a look at these number stamps and try doing this dividing. So when we divide by four, we are going to separate what we have evenly into four. So what are the num what's the number that we're starting with here? Four. So we need four ones here. I'm going to take four ones out. Okay? We have four ones. And we want to see how many fours are in there. So I'm going to take, we're dividing by four, so I need four pieces here so that we can separate these numbers evenly. So we have four here. We need to see how many times four goes into four. So let's separate them evenly here. One can go here, here, and here, and here. So how many rows do we have? One, two, three, four, five? No. How many times does four go into four? Just, how many is in this row now? Just one. So there are one fours in four, right? Yeah. So how many sets of four do we have? Just the one. We're gonna write one there. Okay, and now we have eight. How many fours are in eight? Let's take out eight pieces. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So now we need to distribute them by four because we're dividing by fours. Okay, so I can put one here and here and here and here. And then we have four more here. So we can put here, here, and here. And here. Now we divided it by four. How many rows do we have? How many times do we have four? One time we have four here, and a second time, four here. Okay, so how many fours go into eight? One, four, two fours two sets of four are an eight. We can write a two. Our next number is a, how many fours in 12? Okay, let's see, we need to take out 12. Okay, so we have a 10 and two ones. How much is that? Yeah, that's 12. And when we're doing our dividing, we are going to do our biggest number first. So we need to separate this 10 to all of these pieces. How are we gonna do that? It's only one. I can't put it everywhere at the same time. What do we do if we need to open it up? You remember what we did with the 
10, we opened it up into ones. So just like when we did that, I'm gonna put the 10 back and I'm gonna take out 10 ones. I'm gonna open up that 10 so that we can distribute it evenly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So now we have the same number. We still have 12 here. How many fours are in 12? Let's see. One here, 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 and here. And we can keep going. Let's distribute, keep going. Okay. So that's two fours. And now, whoa, one, two, three. We, now we have three sets of fours. Just like here, there's one, two, three sets of fours. So how many times, how many fours are in 12? One, two, three fours are in 12. Let's write a three, okay? And we'd keep going with our 16. Right, how many fours are in 16? How many sets are here? One set, two, three, four. Four, four fours are in 16. Let's write four. Okay, let's take a look at the next side here. This is dividing by fives, all right? Dividing by fives means we're gonna have to bring out another here, okay? So how many fives are in five? So we need five over here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now we need to distribute it evenly here. One, two, Three, four, five. How many sets of five do we have? Just the one, just the one set of five. Let's write a one on the line. Okay, I'm gonna jump forward to 20. How many fives in 20? So if we have 20, it can look like this. But we cannot distribute that evenly. So we're gonna have to open these tens up. We gotta open both of these tens up. We're gonna need 20 ones. I know it's a lot, but we can do it. No problem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now we have 20, 20 ones. We need to distribute that evenly to see how many sets of fives are in 20. So I'm gonna put it one at each one evenly. I'm not ready to put another here because this one doesn't have one yet. Okay, that's another set of five. Let's see, how many sets of five are in 20? Another one, okay. Wow, all right, how many sets of fives are in 20? One, two, three, four sets. Does that look the same here? One, two, three, four sets of five are in 20. Great job. And if we have 25, that means there's five more. One, two, 
three, four, five. And now, how many sets of five and 25? One, two, three, four, five. Great job, okay? And you guys keep going. If this is tough, that's all right, okay? We can always move to the next worksheet. We are starting some review of this workbook, all right? So here, we're looking at these. Do you think you can handle that? You do? What's four plus three? That's right, seven. What's zero plus five? A hundred. No, zero plus five? Five, yeah. And zero plus six? Six. Four plus four? Eight. Okay, you guys are fast. You guys finish that at home. What's, what's this other side? Okay. All right. This is more easy peasy stuff for you, huh? All right. You guys finish the rest of that at home. Miss Kendra is going to clean these up because this is our wonderful Montessori materials. Do we take very good care of our materials? Yes, because we love our nice things and we keep it nice. We are respectful of the materials. Thanks for doing that with me. Let's go take a look at a community helper that we haven't talked about yet, the mechanic. Come on over. I want to ask you, what does the mechanic do? What do they do? They fix things, right? Yeah, they fix things. They can fix lots of things, like cars, yes. What else? Planes, thank you. And what about a tractor? Can they fix a tractor? Yeah, they can fix lots of things. Anything that's mechanical, right? Anything with moving parts and engines. Okay, but one of the most common mechanics that we hear about is the auto mechanic, the car mechanic. Let's take a look at our worksheets today. A little bit fun. We have a word search. A word search. So we can read the words in the word bank and find the words and circle them in the word search. So in the word bank is a bunch of things that the mechanic will do or have to fix his cars or your cars. He will have tools. He is a mechanic. Does your car need this? Oil? Yeah, all the cars need oil, right? And a truck. He could fix a truck. They can fix the engine in the garage. They can do repairs and fix. How about a tire? Mechanic is going to do something with tires if you need it. And they can use tools like a wrench. And they fix cars. And this word is machine. Okay, so let's look for some of those words in here. All these letters are mixed up together and we need to find these words. So I'm looking for the word tools. So I need to find the T-O-O-L-S in here somewhere. So let's see, I see a, I see a T right here. You see T O O? Do you see O's anywhere? No, I don't see the O's. What about this T? I see T O O L S. Tools. I can circle that and cross it out down here. We found tools. Awesome, let's find 
the word machine. The last one. Let's find the word machine. So we're looking for an M. Can you find an M? I see an M. And now we're looking for a A. See the M here, but I don't see an A around it. Huh. Okay, what about here? M, M. Well, there's an A, but there's no sheen <laughs> down here, right? Here's another M. A, C, H, I, N, E. We found machine. I'm going to cross it out down here. So let's try another one. How about fix? Do you see an F? Where is it? Oh, I see an F up here. Is there an I, X, F, I, X? Oh, we found a fix. Okay. Now this is challenging, right? So you can do this slowly, take your time, okay? And let's see, on the other side, this is really fun. This is something you can do with your family, with your mom and dad. You can go outside and give your car a checkup. A mechanic will fix a broken car but also we'll give cars a checkup to make sure they're safe for you and your family to drive around in. Today, you can pretend and practice to be a mechanic. Here we see a mechanic's report. So we need to go outside and take a look at your own family's car. Or if it's somebody else's car, we need to ask first before we look at it all over, okay? Okay, all right. And then we're gonna determine what the car needs to be in tip-top shape for the road. Okay, that means we're gonna need our lights are working, the tires have air in them, all those things. So we're gonna go outside and say, am I looking at a truck, a car, or an SUV? Maybe Miss Kendra will be looking at a SUV. I will circle SUV. And then I'll look at my SUV. Does it need a tune-up? Are the lights on? No, it's doing okay. Does it need an oil change? Maybe. If it needs an oil change, I'm going to circle oil change. If I see a broken part, I will circle broken part. If there's an engine problem, I will circle engine. What if the tire is flat? I will circle the tire. If the paint needs help, new paint. Maybe we need a new light. Maybe something else. Maybe the door is falling off. We can write that here. Door falling off. And that means it's going to need some repairs, right? Okay, I think that's going to be fun. We can practice pretend we're a car mechanic, all right? And also included in our worksheets is this worksheet. It's about social skills, and this is something that we will cover in our Zoom class, okay? So don't worry about that too much right now. We're going to cover that later in Zoom class. Tomorrow is going to be another awesome day. I'm really excited to see my new friends again. And we are going to have a special guest. Miss Kelly is coming tomorrow. And we're going to talk about our bodies, okay? Our circulation and heart and everything. All right? You guys have a great day. See you tomorrow.